my hair. What about it? You're gonna have to cut that. I'm gonna Otherwise, have to. Otherwise, it's gonna develop its own personality. <laughs> Today is kind of starting off as a special day. Uh, Kathy's gonna be attempting to do something she's never done before. No, I have. Oh, the last have? couple of days. Well, then you should do one extra. All right. And I only do this because this is an example for anybody to follow. Five or six years ago, I got my black belt under Billy Blanks. But in order to do that, I had to do 25 push-ups. Not on your knees, but on your toes like a push-up supposed to be. And at that time, say about six months before my black belt test, I could only do four. I was totally bummed about that. Four, I could do four. But luckily I had this friend who was a trainer. He said, four is not a problem, here's what you do. Every day, you do your four and then add one more. I got my black belt, I did 25 push-ups. So I decided, then I kind of dropped back because I already had my black belt. And now, I'm attempting to do more. And two days ago, I hit 30 push-ups. So today, what are you gonna do? I'll do 31, I think. 11, 20. Come on. Close. <laughs> Two more, just two more. One. One more. Two. Oh. <laughs> Good job. All time record. And that's how you do it. Just do one more every day. Genesis G90. Oh, this car is, is amazingly huge. It's amazing overall. It's just a really, really big car. Kind of feels like a, almost like a limousine. Nobody in the back. Thank God, because that would be creepy. But I'm headed north on Pacific Coast Highway. I'm going up to uh, my good buddy Tom Panunzio's house. We're going to have lunch. We're going to be going to Paradise Cove. You know, it's something that we do every now and then, just kind of get together. The gorgeous day, Paradise Cove is going to be fantastic. And hanging out with Tom, it's a plus. someone's day. Once again, important to pay attention. You're always going to get where you're going. But if you're in a rush, then chances are it's going to take longer than you expect.
great time with Tom. Super cool guy. Uh, amazing car guy. He's got three or four really cool cars, including a, uh, I forget what year the Corvette is, but there's nothing like hanging out and having lunch with car guys. The Genesis G90 has left the pad, unfortunately, but it has been replaced by this. This is the Mazda CX-9, I think. It's the SUV. I think it's the CX-9. I'm not really sure. Let's just go look at it. Inside the Monza CX-9 for the first time. Love the color combination. Sick look. I think you might be able to tell a little bit better if the lens was cleaner. Hold on a second. Check out those seats. Burgundy. I don't know if it's called burgundy. Looks like burgundy to me. Pretty nice throughout. I like it. We're gonna drive this for a week starting today and we'll give you a full report. I probably won't give you a full report, but I will show you what it's like to drive it. It's gonna be cool. Not sure, but I think it's illegal to drive without shoes on. Don't really care. It's pretty nice looking. Good to go. Kathy's making salad pizza tonight for dinner. Gah! Want to express a little bit of gratitude today? Got quite a number of emails from people, uh, people that I met at the Classic Auto Show, and also people at the, the other show that we went up to Oxnard. Uh, saying thanks and appreciate that we came by, had a good time. Always fun to hang out with you guys because we get to you know look at those cool cars and think, think about you know, things that we might be able to do in the future. And of course, that's the whole focus of this blog that, that you know we get to meet you guys, hang out, tell stories, and inspire other people that may want to get a car, maybe want to build one, maybe just even want to sit in one. It doesn't really matter to me. But in short, that brings me to today's theme, and that's about focus. Focus. If you think about it, most of your successes that you've had in your life, uh, even the small ones, like the one and getting some ice cream, will come from your ability to focus. But true success, amazing success, epic success, that comes from the ability to, to really hyper-focus. Not only keep your attention focused on one thing, but keep your thoughts focused on that thing. Every day, I, in the morning, at about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, I make up a list of all the things that I, I want to achieve for, for that day. I make up my list and uh, of all the things that I can think of that I want to achieve that's on a given line. Uh, and some things that I want to do with this blog, things that I want to do that support it, people I want to meet, people I have to call, anything having to do with the business here. And once I'm done with that list and I can't think of anything else, then I put all those things in order, put a number, a little number by each one of them. And sometimes I, I, I have to prioritize and put the, the, the most important things first and the, the things that aren't so important, like getting ice cream, at the bottom of the list. But once they're in order, then I can focus. I can just do the first thing. I just look at the first thing that needs to get done and I give that my entire attention, knowing that all of these things, that all of the tasks that are on my list are all towards a given focus. As I achieve each one of those things, I start to feel kind of excited. 
because I'm making my way through that list. I know that I'm achieving. I know I'm succeeding. Each one of those individual acts is a success. And at the end of the day, when you've achieved pretty much all of those things, if you haven't hit them all, then you can do them the next day and then go on the next list. I've been doing that for 40 years at this point. But that guarantees me that I'm going to focus. I'm going to I'm going to go down the line to which I want to go down. I'm going to immerse my thoughts. I'm going to immerse my actions. I'm going to immerse my personality, everything that I can into that, and I'm going to succeed. It's guaranteed. So when you think about it, success is actually very easy. As long as you have that burning desire, that initial thought of what it is that you want to achieve. You know, if you don't know what you want, then, you know, it's going to be kind of a challenge to be successful. It's kind of like building a car, but not deciding which car you want to build. You can't really move. You can't really start until you decide which car you want to get. But once you decide, then you can start to take steps and it works out pretty well. Okay, that's today's vlog. That's vlog 540. 540? Holy crap. I remember when we were at 300. Remember vlog 300? 540. That means we are making our way one step at a time. Boop, boop, boop all the way to vlog 1000. All right, that's it, people. You be good out there, or in there. Are you still in there?